Josh Raven here with Dot Esports at E League, joined by Whitmer, who's probably feeling some mixed emotions right about now, yeah. uh, coming off the back of that series against Gambit. There was a win in there, which I'm sure you're delighted about, but unfortunately a loss as well, which means, uh, as far as I know, you are bottom place in the group. But we'll talk about the series first against Gambit. Mm -hmm. Starting off with the win, the good news. Yeah. Uh, pretty much pretty surprising for everyone around here that you guys could beat Gambit. Well, yeah. What were your thoughts on that first map? Um, we were pretty confident going into cash. We have been playing custom maps nonstop this tournament, so having like a standard map was pretty good. Um, we started off hot, we got some good shots on mid-control, um, and we were just feeling confident the whole way. They brought it back towards the second part of the first half, but I feel like our post plants were really good for the first time ever. Um, our retakes were pretty solid. Um, we should have won CT pistol. I got disconnected and snap balled armor when I came back, and I usually buy a kit. Um, but besides that, I mean, I think we played really well that map. They did too, but we had good mid-round for the first time in a while. We're a young team, so. Well, yeah, and that shows in the second map, perhaps, uh, taking yeah. the lead early on and then unfortunately throwing it all away. I mean, what was going on there in your minds? Why were you able to, why did you lose grip of the game when it was so close? It felt like a lot of the rounds we lost boiled down to little things, which is kind of the story of young teams in any of their first lands. Um, Gambit has a really, really solid T side. I don't want to like beat up our CT side, it definitely needs some work, but Gambit's T side, we knew coming into it was going to be really strong. Um, they're very good at holding their defaults, they know how to hit their shots. Doge is a monster at Ivy, so, um, you know, just they broke the momentum and our economy got screwed up and we had some questionable rounds, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, now that means going forward into the semifinals tomorrow. As far as we know, we discussed it before the interview, we're still not really sure of each other, but yeah. we think it's envious that yeah. you're playing against tomorrow. Yeah. And obviously they're on a great run of form so far in mm -hmm. E-League. It's going to be a very tough match. Uh, what are your thoughts going into that game tomorrow? Do you think you can uh, cause one of the biggest upsets that we would have seen here so far? I actually think Envious would be easier to beat than VP. Again, I don't know who we play, but um, Envious is playing very, very aggressive this tournament. Um, and so I think if we can like round out our CT sides and shut them down, we have the aim to do it. Um, then I think we'll actually have a good shot going against them. Okay, now talking about complexity as a team, obviously as you said this is your first land for a lot of the players yeah. here. Uh, what is it about a new team that you think can cause surprises in these tournaments? Because obviously a lot of times people focus on they're a new team, they don't have the synergy to mm -hmm. play, but there is an aspect of surprise there, and do you think you can utilize that to your advantage? Yeah, I mean definitely. I think um, you know one of the reoccurring things we would tell ourselves going into this tournament is play like you have nothing to lose. Um, that's easier said than done when you come in on a very, very like squished pra practice regimen. Um, we boot camped with our five for like eight days, like 12 hours a day. So when we came in, it was like, okay, let's play like we have nothing to lose, but it's kind of hard to forget everything you just practiced. Um, so I mean, it, I guess it can help, but all we're telling ourselves is like these teams have been playing together forever, so you know we just got to grind it out. Okay, now sticking to the theme of the team, uh, you guys performed your own little Brexit way before we did at home, bringing in those two UK players, mm -hmm. uh, Surreal and mm -hmm. Def. Yeah. Uh, how have they been fitting into the side? It's, it was kind of a shock move for everyone to just see like Def and Surreal yeah. just come across to America out of nowhere. So how um, have they been settling? They both joined before I did, actually. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, right. but um, I mean, Rory Def, he's he's our caller and he's a monster. Like I think he's going to be our star player over time. He's just a god. And um, playing with Kai is really fun. He had a crazy CT pistol around on train. I don't know if anyone saw that, but it was disgusting. Um, but he's just he's just really cool, very laid back. Rory kind of takes the reins, and uh, it's cool playing with Surreal too because you know we both can op, we both can rifle, so it gives us a little bit of a uh, dynamic, I guess. What are your thoughts on, uh, okay, so complexity as a team, a lot of people mention you, I see on streams a lot of the time, uh, the, the FPL team is somewhat called, you <laughs> team up together in FPL and start like dominating that scene, but when it comes to competitive, not quite as uh, effective, so, <laughs> but do you think it's a problem with the team of like calling or like synergy or something, because you seem to all have pretty solid aim when it comes to mm -hmm. obviously dominating the FPL queues and stuff. Um, well, recently, <laughs> when we get on the same team in FPL and Rank S, uh, we've been having a little fun, we've been playing so much, so we don't take it as serious, but, um, I think, you know, we're just a young team. So if we have very, very good aim, which I think will show over time as we get more and more events, um, that synergy and everything, that's just going to come over time. Like, Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. Um, but in FPL and stuff, I mean, that's kind of where I came from. Like, that's how I got picked up. I streamed Rank S 12 hours a day. Um, and, yeah, I mean, in that kind of environment, we have a lot of explosive players, so it shows. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck in your games cool, tomorrow. Man. Thanks very much for joining Thanks, us. Dude.